the greatest success story. And you know what that is a success. The haters of God talk about Jesus Christ as a failure. Because he died on that cross. Because he was crucified and he was shamefully entreated. There's even a, you know, I'm going I'm to get on this. I don't know if I've ever done this before, uh, this specific point. I used to be a big Metallica fan growing up. My number one favorite band. Okay, and I'm going to get on this for just a minute because it's important. All right, and, and I, know, I know what it's like to be a believer and want to overlook some things. And just not want to deal with some stuff just because your flesh likes the music. All right, but the world's music is garbage. It's trash. And we ought not to love the things of the world. And specifically, I'm bringing up Metallica because I know a lot about them. And I know a lot about their music. And they have a song that's called The God That Failed. The God That Failed. Jesus Christ is looked on as a failure in the God-hating eyes of, of many musicians and people out there that are putting out this music and say, you know, when they put out garbage like that, how can you listen to anything else they have? They say, oh, but this song doesn't talk about... Yeah, but this is what's coming out of their heart. This is what's, what they're producing, what they're putting out. Just like Nine Inch Nails. You know what Nine Inch Nails is even talking about? The nails? Some of the nails that went into Jesus Christ's hands, his feet. Talk about blasphemous. They have a song called Heresy. It says, Your God is dead, and no one cares. If there's a hell, I'll see you there. Yeah, is that who you want to be listening to? But they call Jesus Christ this big failure. He wasn't a failure. We know the story. We know why he endured the suffering and the shame because it was out of love for you. If he didn't do all that stuff, if he didn't suffer the shame, if he didn't allow himself to be beaten and spit upon and buffeted and, and whipped and shed his blood and die on that cross and have his soul go to hell, then your sins couldn't have been atoned for. He did it for you. I'd say that's a success. When one man gives his life to save a multitude. So that anybody can receive salvation. That's a success story. Don't get caught up in this world's garbage. It will influence you. You think it won't. And this wasn't even in my notes at all. But, but you know what? If you're sitting here today, I don't know if anybody has this problem. But you know what? If you do, you need to get right with God. Because that music is wicked. It is, it is of Satan. It literally is satanic. And you know what? I've heard all the excuses before. I used to give the excuses myself. I remember telling my mom back when I was young, trying to tell her, oh, no, no, this is good. They actually talk about Jesus. There's a song called Creeping Death, and it talks about basically when the death angel came and killed the firstborn son in the land of Egypt. And like, that's what that song's about. It's from a very dark perspective, though. It's wicked. Don't let that mute. Don't don't let that garbage get into your ears because it will influence you. It will corrupt you and you will not be successful listening to that junk. You want to have good success? Try meditating in God's word day and night. Think about it. You know, we all have different times to to do things and if you're just pumping your ears full of worldly music, and I did this for years. I know firsthand. You think about those things later on. I can't tell you how many full-length albums, we call them albums now, CDs, whatever you call them, <laughs> that I have like lyrics just, just in my head. And you know what? I can't get rid of them. It's a curse. I go out to eat somewhere, you go out to, to a restaurant, you go out to, you know, the, the music's still just being played, and it's the same stuff from the 60s and 70s and 80s and 90s, and just keep on playing it over and over and over, and just hammering it into your heads. And I couldn't get rid of this stuff now, even though I want to, just out of my head.